first tell me what was it like to be part of this film during a pandemic? Uh, it was a lot of fun because I got to escape reality for a moment and hide in my closet where I'd created a sound booth and voice Maddie, the, the Taipan uh, star of Back to the Outback. A lot of families are going to be watching this movie while they're at home for the holidays. So what are some themes that those families are going to pick up on? Oh, gosh, there's, um, well, the theme of who we journey with can also be our family, not just people that look like us and um, not to judge a book by its cover or to put aside our differences. And, uh, and I think most importantly, to kind of accept our differences make us unique and to not judge, judge ourselves for not fitting in somewhere because we're okay as we are. What are some things and memories that you've made while doing this film? Because I know there's probably been plenty of memorable, memorable experiences where things have gone wrong or things have gone really right. Um, my first memorable experience on this was um, that, that Netflix sent me this giant box, which was a sound recording kit, which I set up and I followed all of the instructions per perfectly it was a four hour recording session and two hours in they asked me just to play back something and i realized i had done everything perfectly except press record and i had to admit that every bit of work we've done for the past two hours didn't exist um that was that was kind of the most memorable experience and i realized then that i uh that i needed to concentrate a little more when they the tech guy was talking to me We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> what are some challenges that come with doing this? Because you weren't in the studio, you were doing this from home. So I'm sure there were some times where maybe a pet interrupted or you didn't get something right. So what were some of those challenges like? I think the biggest challenges, uh, challenge on this movie was the song. They wanted me to record this song and they sent me a copy of someone who could actually sing, singing the song. So I listened and listened and listened and then I had to sing the song. And wherever I went in the house to sing this song, some people who shall remain nameless would follow me around and laugh at how bad my voice is, which is the truth. They're not being unkind. I can't sing. I'm tone deaf or whatever the, the phrase is. I'm not very good at singing. And um, anyway, that was the biggest challenge, finding a sacred safe space where I could uh, manage to record the song. I can't sing either, so I can relate. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's definitely challenging to do this. But what are some things that you're going to take away from this experience? I think the thing that I took away from the experience most of all is just that um, that sometimes that uh, sometimes I make decisions around my career that I kind of overthink and I worry if this is good or bad. And this movie came along and I love Australia and this is such a love letter to Australia that I just said I just said yes. And it was a super, super easy choice. And I just it's a great lesson because really I'm so proud of this film and my family loved it. And uh, I'm so happy that audiences can, you know, see the side of Australia and and, and, and see this film. And so um, I suppose I, I shouldn't overthink things, basically. <laughs>